Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands, and this of course is learn how to edit stuff. So I was just out in my living room watching a documentary on Netflix, and in the documentary, they did this really cool graphic where there was text on screen, and then they push through the text and they reveal the video behind it. And I thought that would be cool to teach you guys. And no, I didn't just see something on Netflix and then want to do that as a video idea because I didn't have any other ideas. That would, that would be silly to do. Jokes aside, I think a couple of you have actually asked me to do this tutorial, so bravo. We're doing it for you today. You, you're the one that asked, we're, we're doing it for you. It is a very simple yet effective effect that you guys can do in After Effects in your projects. There's a couple different ways that you can make the footage and the text react to each other. We're gonna cover all that good stuff today. Open up Adobe After Effects, cause we are getting started. All right, After Effects is open and I'm going to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 at 10 seconds long and click OK. And then I'm going to come into my video files and I'm just going to drag this nice clip of a camera pushing through some trees, little drone footage out over a mountain. It is beautiful. I wanna start the clip from right here and I'm just gonna bring that over. Now, say I wanted to have some text on screen and then I wanted to push into this video. It's gonna work really well because the camera's pushing forward. It's gonna be a really nice transition. What do I do? Well, first things first, I'm gonna turn this layer off by clicking the eyeball over here on the left-hand side because we don't need to see it right now. What we're gonna do is we're going to create some text and I'm gonna have it say, wow. Now my recommendation for this, guys, is you want text that's pretty blocky that will take up a lot of room on screen. If you use a really thin font, going through that thin font with the 3D camera that we're about to create is gonna get a little difficult and make it a little pixely. So the wider and the brickier the font, the better it's gonna be for you. So my anchor point down here is in the bottom left corner. I don't want that. I'm gonna hit Control, Alt, and Home on the keyboard, which is gonna center my anchor point in the middle of my text. And then I can come up here to the Align tab and align it with the center of my composition. Now that I have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this layer and I'm gonna hit Shift Control C to pre-compose that layer. And I'm gonna call this text layer. And I will show you why we did that in just a minute. Oop, title action save popped on there. All right, now that we've got this text pre-comp, I'm going to go ahead and set a scale and position keyframe right at the beginning of my timeline. Alt S for scale and Alt P for position are my key binds for that. You can set up your hotkeys in the After Effects menu to be whatever you want. I believe the default is Shift Control S and Shift Control P or Shift Alt S. Either way, it's confusing. Set it to something simpler. All right, I'm gonna go a second and a half in and I'm going to set another scale and position keyframe. Then come back to my first keyframe and just scale this down a little bit. So now over the course of one and a half seconds, my text is scaling. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our 3D camera push through the text and reveal the video underneath it. We are getting there, just trust the process. Once you've done that, what I want you guys to do is come over here to this little box, this little 3D box, and click on that to make your text layer 3D. Then come right up here to layer, new camera. And we're gonna add an After Effects camera. The default camera that it automatically gives you is just fine for this example. We are going to click OK. Now what I'm gonna do with my camera layer selected right at my last keyframe here, I'm gonna tool down the options to transform and set a position keyframe for the camera, then come right up here to where it says one view and switch this to two views horizontal. On the left-hand side, we are looking at a top-down view of what our camera is looking at. So the camera is looking up this way. And then this window over here represents our active camera and what it is actually seeing. So now that I have this view going on, I'm gonna come over about another second into my timeline and I'm gonna grab my camera on the z-axis and I'm just gonna push it towards the text to right about here now you guys are seeing the camera is going right into the center of this O so what we want to do is now come down here to our text layer and what I'm gonna do is very simply move this over position wise so that it is right in the center of text and I'm going to scale the text up so the white part of the text completely fills my frame and just line up the scale and position so that the white part of the text is completely filling the frame because this is what our footage is going to be inside of. So now you see that our text is just scaling forward really nicely. Then our 3D camera takes over, boom, and pushes into the left part of the O, and now we are cooking with gas. So check out how easy this is. What I want you guys to do is turn on the footage that you want to be inside of your text and right over here under the track mat area of After Effects, if you guys don't have this, there should be a little switch down here at the bottom that says toggle switch modes. Just click on that and your track mat will be visible. And we are going to switch our track mat from our video layer from none to alpha mat text layer. And it is going to put the video inside of our text. So now as you see, the video is pushing forward, boom. And now we are wiping straight into our text and that's pretty cool. 
We've got a really nice effect going on here and it just was a couple of clicks and a couple little keyframes of animation. Now, if you guys wanted to take this a step further so you don't see the footage inside of your text right away, what you can do is duplicate your text layer right on top of itself. You are going to come right over here to the left-hand side and turn the eyeball on so that we are now filling it with white again. And now we're gonna come over here to where our camera move starts and I'm going to set an opacity keyframe. Alt T on the keyboard is my opacity. And I'm gonna come about halfway through and I'm going to lower the opacity down to zero. So now it's gonna go from full white text Boom, it opens up the opacity and now we are pushing into the video. There you go, that's looking pretty nice. And the reason that we did all of our animations first and then duplicated that layer on top of itself is because you want the white text animation to follow exactly what you've already done with your bottom alpha track mat layer so that they match up so you can do the little opacity trick that I just showed you guys. And it just makes it a lot easier once you have your animation set in stone. Wow. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, which is also pretty cool, I'm gonna delete that top text layer so we are just going back to our video layer. And what you can do is come over here to your track mat and instead of switching it from alpha mat text layer, switch the mat to alpha inverted. And now you are seeing that the text itself turns black, but the black text isn't actually black, it is an alpha layer. And if I were to turn on my transparency, you see that it is actually looking through the video layer on the bottom to the back of the composition, which is blank. So I can easily come down here, I'm to collapse all these layers real quick and just drop in a different shot underneath my bottom video layer and now I am seeing a shot of a desert through the shot of the trees and you can transition locations just simply by switching your track mat to something else and putting that video file underneath your original video file. So now we're doing this cool thing where we translate over from mountain to desert and it is looking really, really cool. And now you can do the same thing that we did before by duplicating your text layer, coming right over here to the left-hand side, turning on that eyeball, going to where our animation begins. You can hit U on the keyboard to show all of your animated keyframe properties. I'm going to set an opacity keyframe right about there and I'm going to turn it all the way down to zero right about here which is now going to transition us from beautiful mountains wow to desert oh my gosh Again, this is a very effective effect and it can just kind of up your production value in a video if you need to transition using text or just transition using anything from place to place, you can very easily do it with a 3D camera movement and a track mat and that didn't take us very long at all. And you got two very different transitions out of the deal and uh, it wasn't much work for you. So congratulations on making something really awesome. I helped a little bit, but you did a majority of the work and all because I was watching a documentary on Netflix in my living room and they did this Thing and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Wins all around. But just to recap, just in case, you guys should go back and watch this video one more time if you're a little confused on anything, but the recap goes something like this. You create a text layer, you pre-compose the text layer. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you why we're pre-composing the text layer. Check this out. I'm gonna do... <laughs> Oh God, see, sometimes I forget these things I and mean, it's all part of the process. All right, anyway, double click on your pre-comp and we are going to change this text from saying wow to layer and then voila, there you go. Both of them have been changed to layer and it preserves everything that we have just done, including the opacity top text layer. So jumping back into the recap, we create a text layer and we pre-compose that layer so we can do just what I showed you there. You're going to make that text layer 3D and add a 3D camera into your After Effects scene. Do your little animations with the camera using the two views horizontal view mode. Then you're gonna change the track mat to either alpha or alpha inverted so you can do some really cool transition-y text layer things to your heart's content. You guys, go ahead and do it knock yourselves out. But that about does it today for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and frankly, every other video that I've ever uploaded. If you haven't already watched some of my earlier videos, you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, go watch some of my other videos. Give this video a thumbs up, a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff at Naughty and Sands on social media. If you wanna get in touch with this guy, hit me with some tutorial ideas. I'll do my best to make it happen. Subscribe, check out the last video, and I will see you next time.